the uh, news services reporting that, that the president has uh, decided to oppose the release of the uh, photographs from the detainees in uh, uh, Afghanistan or, if, uh, or Iraq. Uh, in some comments about that's in contradiction to what the Pentagon had planned to do. Could you walk us through, um, will the Pentagon, of course you'll support the president, but sure. um, in terms of continuing to push this through to the courts so that uh, uh, I've got to believe that a cartoon in, Dane, in a Danish newspaper is inflammatory. Uh, these have got to be weekly inflammatory. So could you walk us through that a little bit? First, the, the basic, just to cut to the chase, um, we were we are involved in litigation. Uh, it it appeared that uh, we would be uh, forced to turn over uh, these uh, photographs. The uh, if we did not appeal a decision to the Supreme Court, I think that's what's under consideration. We were we're looking at a number of other photographs and other litigation down the road, and so one of the considerations that, that w I had asked for was, should we put all this together and release it all at once so we go through the pain once instead of the Chinese water, water torture over a period of time? Uh, a couple of things have changed on that. Uh, first, I think, is, as you suggest, a willingness of the president to, to take this on, but second, and perhaps what's motivated my own change of heart on this and perhaps influenced the president is that our commanders, uh, both General McKiernan and General Odierno, have expressed very serious reservations about this and their very great worry that release of these photographs will cost American lives. That was all it took for me. Okay, thank you, Mr. Secretary. I agree. If we have to release them at some point in time, fine, but let's don't borrow trouble, particularly with the, the uh, intent to get out of the cities in, uh, in June in Iraq and other kinds of things. There'll never be a good time to, to release those photographs. Let's stick with it, make the courts make us do it. So I appreciate your change of, uh, of opinion on that. And uh, I yield back, Mr. Secretary. Thank you.